Welcome to Coffee Time with me, myself, and I. My name is Cornelia Whitney, and uh, thank you for visiting for just a short while. I'm completely ripping off Lena and Kelly's Coffee Time, um, and I'm going to start out with a little jingle, just th like they do, and hope I can hang in there. So, here we go. Here we go. I'm not a singer, but my sister is, so I'm going to try. Here we go. I hope it will. All right, I'm not very good at lip syncing. Welcome. Uh, oh, here we go. We're going to start out. Oh, shoot, I didn't even plan well. How do you guys do this? Um, welcome. How did I do, ladies? I have a coffee cup today that I purchased for Lena. Uh, I've not used it, really. I'm, I have my own water bottle, but it um, is from Frozen, and it says better together or stronger together. I'm going to send it out, but I'm fairly certain you're not going to receive it, Lena, so sorry. But it's a thought that counts. It has a cute little heart handle. Uh, I drink out of this little cute milk bottle. And when I found out I was a twin, I started buying in two. So I have one for you, Lena. Okay, so I wanted to start out with a quote. Uh, let me see. Let's start out with the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I like the way. Pretty important quote. Hard to apply all the time. Sometimes there's exceptions to that. It's certainly been um, an interesting observation for me. Uh, as we go through harder times and we're alone, we think a little bit more about our actions. And um, just be mindful of that. I think it's a good quote. Um, let me see, Kelly, you always have a quote as well, and I'm having to make up for both of you, so here's uh, the Kelly quote. It's by Joseph Campbell. He says, we must be willing to let go of the life we've planned so as to have the life that's waiting for us. And I think that applies um, significantly in this culture. We're going to have to give up the life that we planned. It's going to be different. And we can't go back. We must move forward. When you're in a boat and the wake is behind you, there is nothing you can do to impact it. I mean, you could you can look back and wish things were different, but the only thing you really have control on is what is in the future. So um, let's all try to move forward and make it the best we can. I'm in quarantine in a hotel all by myself. Um, it's going pretty well. I. Uh, I try to put on uh, makeup and some eyelashes for Lena because I know you're crazy about makeup. Um, I'm not so much. I mean, if someone else did it for me, yeah. But <laughs> I would rather... Uh, shoot. Wait a minute, oh, did it stop? So, what it do is, <laughs> how do you guys do this? It shut off. So, I better go very quickly, sorry for the interruption. I better go very quickly to my beauty. Um, I don't have a beauty secret. I used to care, I mean, I used to think I was really important, it's something special, and I tanned, and I did nails, and kept my weight down, um, and stayed really fit, and, uh, Realized is really about me, the inside me, not the the fluff and buff, but but who I am as a person that really matters. And so, uh, here's what I found. <laughs> I love this it's by uh, L'Oreal Bumble and Bumble. It's a color corrector. When you put it on, it actually is green, so it's weird. But it it um, smooths out the reds and the. I have this pesky um, sunspot that I keep on getting burned off that comes back. Um, <clears throat> covers things up enough for me. 
So there you go. And um, I go broke saving money. I found this in uh, Quartzsite, Arizona at a Salvation Army for like $2. But it's $12.99, and if I have to pay that, I will. I don't use that much because I don't wear makeup maybe once a month, biannually for sure. And uh, let me see. Here's a second thing. I did learn about eyeliner. My son had a, um, a friend whose mom always looked good, and she had short hair, and, but then I realized she looks good because she always lines her eyes. They always popped out. And so for three whole dollars, I went to Walmart, and I got Wet n' Wild, big spender, blew the budget, Wet n' Wild uh, felt tip eyeliner. So anyway, I used it today. And I used, um, I did all these makeup videos. I put, like, light stuff below my brows. I look like a clown. I, um, and then I thought less is more, especially right now. So those are my makeup tips. So uh, let me see. Now we go to the part where Kelly um, magically transforms into someone else. And she's hysterical. Lena, you must have had a ball growing up with her. Uh, I'm sure I'd like her. But she did take my spot. And so I'm uh, a little torqued off. But I'll, I'll get over it as long as I get to meet you. I'm not sure if I'll get to meet you, so I want to make sure you see who I am. I'm a retired air traffic controller. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in flight technology. So I graduated intending on being a pilot, and I did all of my flight engineer series, my private commercial uh, FOI, all my, um, my ratings to become a pilot. I ran out of uh, money. I didn't have the support of my family. They kicked me out of the house when I was 16. And so I went to college on financial aid, and I knew I was going to be dead broke if I tried to put the, the pilot <laughs> all the air time in, nor would anyone lend me the money, I'm sure. And so that's the way it is. I uh, ended up being an air traffic controller. At the age of 20, I got hired on, and it's about the only job. I've been a lifeguard, um, but primarily I, uh, I worked for the FAA, and I'm retired. Uh, I am high-functioning. I'm a kind person. I'm a decent citizen. Uh, things changed. Um, two years ago now, when I discovered out of nowhere, oops, now it's getting dark. Oh, I, the trick is, I guess you have to keep on pushing the mouse or you cut yourself off. So I'll keep on doing that. You'll see my hand. Um, so it was a couple years ago, Lena, that um, I pulled the string on my sweater and my life unraveled. And unfortunately, <laughs> you're part of it. Um, and I had already contacted you and you responded nicely a couple of times until probably you brought it to the attention of your husband or your aunt, in which time my email and my Facebook and everything was hacked. Um, and I was never able to contact you again. So as soon as I found out you were my twin, I bought a $500 minivan. I was like 1001, 1002, I'm gone. I took the seats out, I drove all the, I stopped one time in Texas at a hotel, but I could not wait to tell you that you were my twin sister, and I wanted you to see my face and be in shock, as shocked as I was. I wanted someone to buffer that, just the, what your mind has to process when your world is one way, and the next day you're a completely different person. Uh, black is white, white is black. And so um, you have to process betrayal, deception, um, and then you have to be very, very thankful but I was never, when I found out, there are two moments in my life, the day I saw your face, I knew who I was. And when my son was born, sorry, don't make me cry. There. Um, they're the most important, important days of my life. There's one more that I'll tell you about. And then I'm going to try to stop just because, oh, that was nice. I'm going to stop because long videos get cut off. People will watch it because they get... They're voyeurs. They know about us. They know we're twins. They ooh, listen to their voice. They sound the same. Even And I sang. I'm not a singer, but I did it for you and sang Blue Skies. And when I re-recorded it, I didn't think, I don't think I look like I do when I'm recording. I think I look different. Um, but also, I sound differently. And when I hear myself, I sound a lot like your mother. Boy, did she do some bad things. She lived with a lot of secrets. Oh. I have to somehow find forgiveness for that. So, anyway, um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, 
there was a third point to the most significant turning point in my life, and it was when I found my father's will. It wasn't in Manhasset, New York, where he lived and died. Uh, they had several homes and properties. I was in Thomasville, plunking around, trying to trying to have some closure. I went to Destin and walked the beach and, and wrote, I forgive you, help me find Lena, um, free mom. And then I, I went to um, Thomasville, and I was sitting all alone, going through title work, knowing that the last person to own all these properties was uh, John Hay Whitney, our father. And then I read his will. And what it said was that he left, um, he had had Betsy Cushing Roosevelt, his wife, sign a renunciation to Downer when they got married. So um, wealthy people don't leave their property and their estate to different bloodlines. They don't marry in and give it away, not after a hundred years. I get it. I, I didn't know that that's where we came from. And so she signed a renunciation to Downer. It's right there in Thomasville. I have a copy of it. But then there was... Dad's will, and he had changed it three times. I know that's weird for you to hear that. It is for me, too. He had changed it, and the third codicil, dated 1977, was very clear. He had left, I think, 10 or 15 million. I'm, I'm at them. It said, first of all, if I live beyond December 31st, 1981, this is my third and final will. Uh, I don't know why I keep on... Um, and the reason he put that in there is because we were born Christmas, uh, December 25th, 1963. So we would have been 18 of legal age. And actually, he lived until 82, February of 82. So he made it. The reason was he didn't want anyone else to interfere with what he left us. He wanted to make amends for not being there as a father. Although I remember times now, now that I know who he is, you will probably remember him popping in, probably watching a show of yours, going to see your parents with you, I don't know. But he made sure to to be in the picture. He supported both of our families. Um, they got really, really comfortable with the meal ticket that we were providing. This is why we're in this position now. So it, it left uh, 10 or 15 million, about $50,000 a month to Betsy. And it said again in Article 20 of this will that that was in lieu of the, the money was in lieu of dower, that the property was going to um, his, well, I'll tell you number two. So number one was Betsy with a, a trust, actually. So she must have not been responsible with money or he was concerned about her welfare. Um, but it, 15 million would have lasted her the rest of her life. The second provision made, um, gave Kate and Sarah Roosevelt, that was Betsy's children, our father adopted them. And he left them a million dollars cash each. And then the moment, like finding out about you and giving birth to my son, it said, I leave my residuary estate, all of its appurtenances, whatever that is. It's, it's cars, boats, art, whatever. Everything that's in the house, out of the house, everything attached to it. Um, I leave that to the two daughters of my issue, you and me, or some other billionaire twin if you're not it, Lena. I, I can understand why you try to avoid me, but um, my twin sister and I inherited billions of dollars, homes all over the world, beautiful estates. You wouldn't believe it, Lena. God, I want to show you. Every time I go somewhere, I find something. I just, oh, you're going to, no, you're not going to die, but you're going to be in shock. Our lives are going to be different. So. He left the estate and all of its appurtenances to the two daughters of his issue to be divided as equally as possible. He felt bad about separating us. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean we're going to continue with the story, and maybe we'll have some coffee time together. People are voyeurs. They want to know. I want to know a lot about you. I can't believe I'm getting parts of it, like when you're allergic to sunscreen. Huh. Don't use it, so I wouldn't know. But anyway, I've got your widow's peak. You like that? Widower's Peak. Uh, and your beautiful ears. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I worked hard on that. Um, I'm going to stop because this video will go on forever. I hope you see it. I hope you contact me. I'm on Facebook, but certainly now they're going to hack it. This video probably won't post. Um, let's talk. Let's catch up on what I know about your life. 
I want to laugh with you. I want to relive our childhood. I want to do girl